Hello, my castaways, and welcome back to Deep Play. Last episode, we checked out Little Ida's Hideout by this guy, and I was thoroughly blown away by the expansive detail. This episode will be going right next door to the next island in this quadrant of exploration. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, we are back here on uh, Compass Out on day 93 I want to say like 7 a.m. on uh, Little Ida's hideout so we're gonna be heading up to the next island in our quadrant over here uh, which is right off in the northeastern area so uh, let's go ahead and get going and um, I think we're just gonna take this right hand way around the island since it's pretty much on just the other exact opposite side and uh, yeah see where we end up. Oh, I'm not going to make this, am I? Oh, come on, man. I really wish there was something we could do, like adding a, a fin on the bottom of our raft or something like that to uh, give us more maneuverability or like an increased rudder or an increased motor or something, but uh, yeah, that's probably too much to hope for. <laughs> There we go. There's the next guy. So, um, we're gonna... I think that's the one. I don't see anything else off in this direction. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is, like, the last one in this area. From our flyover, I think I remember seeing a big swath of nothingness on the other side of this guy with the arch. So, uh, let's see. Real quick. Yeah, northeast. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, this is, this is where we're going. And uh, that big arch seems pretty inviting, um, suspiciously so. So what I think we're going to do is take a nice ring around the island, like we do a lot of times when we get to an island first off, and uh, see what's going on on the outside, then hit the inside. And, um, yeah, I mean, judging by the amount of trees I can see on this island, and, like, the size of these, these cliffs, which are, I think those are altered size scale, rather, cliffs. Oh, jeez. We hit some crazy lag. Come on. There we go. Um, judging by the size of these scaled cliffs and, like, how many trees versus, like, that, I'm going to guess that this is probably not going to be that decked out of an island. Um, so this may end up being kind of a short episode. I I was playing around with doing both islands in a day, but I'm kind of feeling under the weather today. And, uh, yeah, so I think we're just going to be settled with a short episode today, depending on how much stuff's going on here. Alright, we're not even getting it rendered in. Come on. Come on. There we go. Well, you still look weird, but... Mm. <laughs> do it. No, you're not going to do it. Alright. Yeah, it looks like this is just a big old rock. I don't even see land around it. I will tell you what, though, we are going to set up a water still or two here because uh, I have, you know, several random reserves of water in my uh, raft here, but we are completely out of all of those, and I don't like trying to survive off coconut water, so, uh, yeah, we're going to set up a few essential things here, maybe get some leathers and, leathers, some leather and restore our, hold on a second, ah, no. I thought I saw like a shipwreck part right here, but I don't think that's what I think it is. Um, but we'll also get some leather and restore our um, refined spear supply as well, because we only have three, and I don't like the prospect of uh, taking on an island of potentially dangerous stuff with only three spears and a couple spear gun arrows. All right, not looking like we got anything going on out here. As we've seen more and more custom islands, I'm kind of getting like a little bit of a um, an eye for like recognizing when something is going to be a certain way. Like you can tell by the way this land is around these islands that the person who made this island, no offense, whoever did this, of course, but uh, they didn't have all that much experience with it because the, I mean, unless they did this aesthetically, which I mean, personally, if they did that aesthetically, they didn't do a very good job of it. Like I said, no offense. Um, but it just seems like they didn't have very good control over or understanding of like how the 
the land manipulator works in the island cartographer. I could be completely wrong about that. Um, they may have done this all exactly the way they wanted to, but it, it just seems like it's a little like um, somebody was like, ah, I'm just happy with it, and then just kind of slapped it down. Hey, there's a survivor shelter over there. Plane. All right. Oh, we got some stuff going on. I'm going to laugh whenever, I, uh, at the end of the episode, we find out this is maybe like Herja Elgrim or something. I'm like, oh, I didn't do that great of a job with the, you know, the land and all the stuff. You know, you can see this is the giant circle of their, like, little highlighter. And they just, like, depressed it a little bit and then pull it in and depress it a lot more. But, uh, anyways, I'm on a, off on a tangent. Okay, so, um, looks like we have some uh, gingers that used to live here. They were very high on the sun protection. Uh, tons of potatoes and PV plants. So uh, we might also make some stuff to restore some of our anti-poison stores since I seem to get poisoned every damn where. Oh, I didn't even see all these sharks. Holy shit. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to guess there's five in there. Just chances. All right, let's check out this plane and whatever else is around here. Hi. Oh, shit. You missed him. Run, you fool. All right, there we go. I didn't do too much damage. Oh, hey. Hi. Okay, looks like there's nothing in here. Did I miss anything over here? I might have missed a crate. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to go through all the crates and stuff on an island, but when it's such a small island, I feel like it's a little bit of, oh, well, nothing here anyways. I feel like it's a bit of a waste to not just go ahead and loot it, even if I'm on camera while I'm doing it. So yeah, that was a perfect example of why I don't want to have just three spears on me. I mean, <laughs> anybody who's played this game knows you always want to have weapons on you. Jesus. But then, yeah, for... Oh, man. I just missed both of those. But yeah, for this exact reason, so I don't miss boars and get smacked up by boars and almost die. All right, let's get some coconuts in us too, so we're healing. All right, good to go. Just some rocks. Let's go check out this uh, survivor shelter, or uh, like this is something somebody well I was about to be like oh like this is somebody somebody built oh my gosh never mind just forget I even said anything turn off your uh, your audio it's not important so looks like there's some stuff that got placed around here which is good and it also seems like it's a smaller um, sea fort that's what oh hell yeah okay maybe we don't have to make some spears actually yeah give me that and <laughs> that I'm thinking that was a spear. Oh, baby, yes. All right, jerry cans. Woo, this island was totally worth it now. And I guess we'll... No, oh, we'll not. No, no, no. You do not need to go swimming in there, bud. Come on, where's the light? There it is, okay.
All right, let's go check out this other side. I'm thinking we've just about gotten or checked out everything that there is to check out. Come at me, bro. I got all the spears in the world now. There's a fishing trap. I don't even know if we've actually used a fishing trap. Damn it. Alright, well, we definitely have a whole bunch of leather we can use here, so that's nice. Um, if we are so inclined to make a whole bunch of spears, I might do that in between episodes, though, so you guys don't have to just see me making a whole bunch of spears. And I guess we'll go ahead and put this guy down and just see what he catches. Um, yeah, I've never used one of those before, believe it or not, and... Uh, yeah, so I guess it'll probably just fill up with, oh, that's, uh, I remember seeing tooltips about how fishing traps work differently based off of where they're placed, so that right there will probably only catch sardines. Let's, um, <laughs> god damn, I'm trying to, like, get down here while all these sharks are here. All right, yeah, let's do it. Jesus. Not the snake. Put it down here. Set it. All right, cool. No, 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 not the starfish either. <laughs> Mark my words, I'm going to forget to check that and someone will leave a comment and be like, Hey, by the way, you have a fishing trap down there. Ah, I should have known. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm really glad you helped me up onto this. Whoa, what? Hey, nuh-uh. All right, I'm getting reckless with the spears. So we see why I only have three of them. <laughs> or had three of them, I guess. Where'd it, where'd it go? Did I lose it in the rocks? Oh, well, that's a shame. All right, let's go find that guy. Oh, hi. You know, I was thinking about jumping in the water and getting some of these guys killed, but uh, now I'm a little bit less confident that <laughs> I do not want to die here, obviously. Um, I guess we should just do our best to take these guys out. Oh, I think I missed him. This is a really inopportune spot for that shadow. Nah, the whale shark's fine. It's supposed to be big bad sharks. You want to eat me. That's your motivation. Um... All right, well, you know what? I think what we're going to do is set up those water stills and maybe get some spears made, take a few pot shots at these sharks, and uh, heal up in the meantime, and then I'll come back and uh, we'll get the rest of them killed. Okay, so uh, as you can probably tell, I got my water stills set up, and uh, I found some clay in the water and figured we had the potatoes right over there, so why not make a, a can of fuel while we were sleeping? Maybe even a, an extra one since there are five potatoes. Um... So yeah, I'm going to sleep through the night and then uh, wake up in the morning. We'll kill these sharks and uh, that might be the entire episode. So yeah, not a long one today, but uh, you know, getting through the islands, getting some uh, exploration done. Awesome. Let's go grab that other uh, potato over here while we're waiting on daylight. And um, what time is it? 530? Okay, it'll be light enough soon. Ok, 
Okay, these guys also need topped up on water so we can keep the uh, distillation going. So, uh, we'll take this guy out. I also organized some of the uh, crates in the ship over there so I could actually find stuff again, but uh, you guys don't care about any of that. And I guess we'll fill up the water bottles while the sun's coming up. Eh, we'll get that canteen first. Speaking of water, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna eat one of those rations, okay. I think those things, yeah, those things fill to 1.25 tanks of gas, so I'm not worried about that. Um, get one of these in us, just take the edge off. Oh, here. And a victim right here. Awesome. Alright, let's get these damn sharks killed. Oh, I never made any spears. All right, hold on. I'll be right back, and I'll have spears. Okay, we're back. I got a whole buttload of spears, and we got gas. I guess I'll just go ahead and top this, top this up and fill the rest of the tank up from here. Cool. And, uh... We don't need this fuel still here anymore, so we'll tear it down so we can get our uh, plank scrap and jerry can back out of it. Oh, lots of stuff. Right. And clay. Yeah, clay too. Where'd our jerry can go? Okay. <laughs> Getting nervous there. Alright. We're good to go. Um, actually, yeah. Save this and pick this guy up. Alright, let's kill some sharks real quick. We'll get a more central location too, so we don't have to wait for them to come right out here. Come on, drop it. Alright. See, this is why I like having extra spears, because then I can just throw it at anything that moves. Yeah, and I still got plenty of them. I probably shouldn't be wait. Well, I mean, I guess it's not wasted on the marlin, but awesome, one down. I probably shouldn't kill the whale shark either. They're so nice and gentle. Oh god! All right, um, we're not gonna screw around with five sharks in the water. I'm gonna swim, or uh, swim. I'm gonna motor this over here. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I'm not actually. Oh wait, yeah, there we go, cool. Oh no, alright, fine. Raft physics for the win, baby. Thank you, Mr. Tiger Shark. Oh, I probably shouldn't have put it on here. Oh shit. Um, sure. 
Hey, I guess that works too. I can just sword hunt. This is actually really easy. <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna do, do that though. Alright, we got the goblin shark left, and I think we got the great white or the tiger, I can't remember. Damn it, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Get out of here. Jeez, that's about half my health. Oh, man. Alright, we're not messing around with... Oh, you know what? There's that bandage over there. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. Alright, much better. Okay. Let's go get that dick goblin shark. Oh wait, are there two? Okay, no, there's not two goblin sharks. It's just the one goblin shark. This was a poor decision. Hey, all right, cool. He's down. Jesus. Man, those great whites, they can just take so much damage. I think this is it, though. Nope, shit, it's not it, it's not it. Alright, I don't think he'd get me with a bite. I feel like after, like, something happened, and now the sharks do more damage to me. Um, they were not happy that I made them itty-bitty, I guess. Uh, on Itty Bitty Isle, and it seems like after the sharks on Itty Bitty Isle... Oh my god, how are you not dead yet, dude? After the sharks on Itty Bitty Isle, even the little ones, like, uh, it's like, it's like they're all acting like the little ones now. I'll get, um, bitten by one, and I'll get a bunch more damage dealt to me than I'm expecting to. There we go. Okay, he's down. Now, I think the marlin can actually, like, attack you. Um, I feel like I've been attacked by a marlin before, but I don't know if they're... I'm pretty sure if they do attack you, it's because you provoke them by stabbing them, um, which I definitely, definitely did. Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, well, we got a shit ton of meat here. I'm probably going to drag these boys up onto the land, and uh, I'll probably just make a whole bunch of leather and cook up some shark meat, um, smoke up some shark meat, rather. Um, while we're waiting, and, uh, or in between episodes, and, uh, you know, get a nice store of smoked food so we don't have to worry about that in the future. Um, not that it's really been that much of a problem anyways. Alright, well, I think that's gonna about do it today, guys. I know that's a, it was a very short episode, um, just, uh, like I said, I'm not feeling too great, so I'm not wanting to record more than I need to today and uh yeah the island was accommodating it seems like we pretty much checked out everything we need to over here so uh yeah like i said i'll uh cook up some uh mercury filled shark meat over here and uh get some more water filled up in my containers and then uh i guess i'll see you guys on the next episode of deep play when we have full supplies and uh we'll check out that last island in the quadrant and then um I guess it'll be off to a new quadrant. Hopefully we can uh, find that last boss, wherever they, she, he, wherever it might be. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, kind of low-key episode. And uh, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys for the next episode of Deep Play. Keep on surviving.